Ciao, senor. What's up? Hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> so what's this video about? We're doing what we want for Wonderland in 2020. Yeah, so my prediction video is gonna come out shortly. And I'm just here. 2020. So we're gonna discuss what we would ultimately like to see Canada's Wonderland do for 2020. Right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so before we start, comment down below what you guys would like to see at Canada's Wonderland for 2020 season and what you kind of are predicting or what you'd want to see, anything. Comment down below what you'd want. Um, and we're going to go over the things that you would want. And then I will go over the things that I want. I touched a spider web. Did you? Yeah. Oh, I caught that on camera. <laughs> All right, Craig. I want better food and even just one behemoth repainted. That's it? What about ride wise? What I like for a new ride? If you were if like you were to get a new ride, be realistic. Obviously we're not getting a coaster. I like Wonder Woman, but that's never gonna happen. We already have a pendulum ride. Yeah, but it sucks. <laughs> no, but Oh, what was that thing we read at Great Adventure? Mosquitoes are coming out. The the madhouse, the Houdini thing. Oh yeah. That would be a GP magnet and a half right there. Yeah, it would. I mean, and it would fit that. Case. There's a reason we're at Action Theater. Oh. Oh. That was shady. <laughs> um. Anything else? The Vacoma madhouse would be good. And then some of the rides just get repainted. Maybe fresh, uh, like Leviathan's decal, fresh decals, stuff like that. Fresh decals, like yeah. in like the uh, like Leviathan the, eyes. Yeah, on the front of the train. They're, they're really? destroyed. Are they? I didn't know this. <laughs> you need to ride Leviathan. <laughs> oh, you're being easy. Cedar Fair's like, okay, we can make that happen. I hope so. I, that's all I want. Ow. It was that a bug? I don't know. We're being eaten alive back here. Okay. Um. I don't even know. Because I already like have a feeling of what's gonna happen, so I don't want to say that because that's gonna be for a video. I, but but what do you want? Realistically, what I think and what I want is I food needs to change at this park immediately. Immediately, like the food is horrible. Like I'm hallucinating from the chicken. Oh, <laughs> it's just like we were just at Riverside, whatever they call it, cafe, like roadside roadside chicken, not Riverside. We always say Riverside. We do say Riverside. It's, it's roadside. roadside. And every guest was complaining. It's so such a tight space, and you have like 50 people stacked in there waiting to hear their name, and then the line can't move anymore because of it, and there's no seating anywhere to eat, and then the food at Backlog Cafe is the worst it's ever been. So I would love to see an improvement for food, meaning a new restaurant, and I think we're gonna see something for the kids, and I think we might see a thrill ride. And I think, I'm going into what I think. What I would like to see is a flat ride, a um, ride. Yeah, a scream and swing would be like amazing, or an air race. What's a scream and swing? It's that an giant race. like swing that Cedar Point has, Skyhawk. Oh. And I would love to see Frontier Canada get its Phase Two expansion, Which? and I want to see Action Zone get a, even more erased and go back to what Taft had it as. It's raining. Sounds like construction going on in Action Zone, Action Theater. <laughs> Did you hear that? Action Zone. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would love to see that. Definitely flat ride, a water slide complex, and uh, re-theming of Action Zone and an expanded theming of Frontier Canada. Some of those I know are happening. You're so complicated. I just want simple things. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to remember, we're in, we're in expansion park, and our hotel's opening in 2021 now, so you're gonna see things getting ready for that hotel. Our hotel's opening 2021. That, that, that means coaster that year for sure. You can't open a hotel with nothing. Oh? If they don't, I'm not buying a pass that year. Yeah, yeah. so in my video, you're gonna hear me discuss why Candidates Wonderland's gonna get a lot of things added over the next couple years, and it all has to do with Yukon Striker um, being pushed back. So I'll discuss that in further in the video. <laughs> Anything else you would like to see? I, I'm, a, I'm a very simple person. Even like these paths like this, just fix them. Like look, look at over there. Look. This is a tripping accident. We already know that this area, like, like, this area is on the, definitely going to see something in the next like three years. Not this area. Is no, but I mean like Whitewater Canyon's area. And even if you cut to the footage from the other camera, the pathway by Yukon is like six different colors. Yeah. That, no. <laughs> Fix it. 
Half, so, half the lights on the rides don't work. That's got to get fixed. Yeah, lights are burnt out. Re rides need repainting. I just want simple things like Behemoth that. needs a repaint really bad. Yeah. Leviathan's starting to get up there too. Like, even if next year I come back and I see Behemoth repainted and better food, I'm going to be happy. I'll agree with you that. If I saw that, I'd be happy too. But there's going to be more. B&M. Oh? <laughs> you just, no. After Great Adventure, they're my favorite, so... Just wait for Cedar Point in a couple weeks. And then RMC will be my favorite. Yeah. Although my number one's an And Intamin. Maverick is gonna wow you for sure. It is raining. It's not supposed to rain. My number one is an intimate anyway. Oh. Um, okay, yeah, so new restaurant, probably a flat ride. I would love to see. That would just be bonus for me, but if they did the things that I said, like that's perfect for next year. Yeah, but we are purposely in this area for the speculation video that's gonna come out and the area over there. I really hope the camera didn't pick that up. I think it did. I burped. Oh. All right, anything else you wanna add? Fix your park, Wonderland. No, I'm kidding. It's not, I'm it's kidding. not terrible. No, it's, it's no. better than the other two we went to. Yeah, she and Great food, Adventure. food needs to be improved. Food, for sure. Customer service is getting really good. Yeah, Yester we've noticed that. Yesterday, I ripped off my fast lane band because I didn't think we were coming back, and I went to the customer, to guest relations, and they said, like, no questions asked, they scanned it, and they're like, here, you can have your fast lane Yeah, band. and they wouldn't have done that in they the past. They never have done that before. But yeah, I've noticed a huge improvement with customer service. At the beginning of the season, like, Rides was the only department really like killing it in terms of customer service. And even that's gone down now. Like the ride dispatches have started just to kind of go down and level off. Yeah. We'll use uh, Yukon as an example. Exactly. They used to dispatch at the bottom of the first demo man. Now it doesn't dispatch till the mid course. Yeah. All right, I think that's it for this video. Is it because you saw an employee? No. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think we have similar things of what we'd like to see. I think theming. I want to see an emphasis on theming for sure. Yeah, our, our, all of our ride stations, except for Yukon, are so bland. Yeah, and I think all this stuff has a very good chance of coming true. I mean, they've been adding flower pots around the park even throughout the season. They've been improving things. Throughout the season, it's almost like the park's permanently under construction. <clears throat> it is permanently under construction. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we, we're noticing some things around the area. There's uh, some rebar cages that have showed up. Construction vehicles are showing up. Orbiter's still in the parking yeah, lot. Yeah, could be for the hotel. We don't know, but stuff's starting to show up. I didn't even think of that. No, they'd have a whole separate off-site storage for the hotel, I would assume. Where are they going to fit it? Off-site. <laughs> Where off-site? You need it on-site. No, but off of Wonderland's car. I don't see it. You need it sense. accessible. I'm gonna edit, uh, we can F cut, in chat for we, Craig. We can edit that out. <laughs> He's not gonna edit it out. All right. Alrighty, insiders. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And share this video for others to enjoy. We're becoming basic, help us. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't have our Starbucks on us, so we're not that basic. Although, we're not wearing our shirts for once today. El Toro, El Toro, El Toro, El Toro. I'm in a t-shirt. <gasps> oh my God. You know what's funny? If you didn't mention that, I would have to reply to 60 different comments saying, Brendan's in a t-shirt! Oh! <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the speculation video. Sign all right. Bye! Yeah, I was supposed to be way more majestic than that. I was supposed to disappear peer behind your back, and then the video stopped, and you didn't stop the video. I didn't stop the video. You didn't. That's so embarrassing. Yeah.